Hi, I'm Tony from Sykes Harley Davidson, and today I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about the 2020 Softail Fat Boy. Let's jump straight in. The first thing that people notice about the Softail Fat Boy is, without a doubt, these absolutely iconic solid disc wheels, front and rear, completely unique to the Fat Boy, and it makes it one of those absolutely standout bikes that's recognizable no matter what. Moving on to the front suspension, the Fat Boy is part of the FL model designation of Softails, and what that means is it's got this touring style front end. So you've got touring style fork lowers and then the fork tubes themselves are actually covered with these really cool metal shrouds and on the Fat Boy, one of the standout things about them is that they're this awesome satin stainless finished and then you've got a really nice chrome headlight trim ring just to make the whole thing pop. This obviously coordinates with the chrome cover that you've got for the, for the top clamp which feeds into the risers and the handlebars. Moving back to the handlebars, the Fat Boy features classic pullback handlebars and what that means is it makes for a very neutral seating position. You're not massively stretched out, nor are the handlebars too close to you. I'll show you what it looks like with me sat on the bike in just a minute so you can see how comfortable they are. Moving back onto the fuel tank, you've got that iconic dual filler cap nostalgic style. This is the larger tank of the Softail range. And down the middle there, you've got your digital Speedo, which also features a matching satin stainless trim. The 2020 Fat Boy, of course, comes with the Milwaukee 8 engine. This is the 114, they also do a 107 displacement, so keep that in mind if you're considering this bike. The exhaust system on here is a nostalgic two into two system, again, finished with those brushed stainless heat shields. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a stock exhaust system, as I've said before, so it's not super loud, but if you do want a loud set of pipes, there are some awesome aftermarket options available, including slip-on mufflers that have heat shields that match the satin stainless finish. Moving on to the seat. Personally, I'm a big fan of the stock Fatboy seat, the seat height is nice and low. I'll show you what it looks like with someone on it in just a moment. It's quite a wide seat, so that can definitely make it more comfortable on longer rides. You can shift around a little bit. That pairs quite nicely with the rider footboards. Again, building into that nostalgic style, but also giving you the comfort to move your feet about a little bit on longer rides. The pillion setup is included as standard on this bike, so bear that in mind if you are thinking about doing a lot of riding two up. And of course, you can get all of your detachable accessories so you can go for a sissy bar with a passenger backrest, luggage rack, all of that good stuff. Moving on to the back wheel, this has got to be the absolute standout feature of the new Softail Fatboy. The Fatboy now features a 240 rear tyre. The 240 is the same size that you get on a breakout and it gives you that proper aggressive look that you get from having a really nice fat tyre on the back there. Now I'm going to jump on the bike so you can see what it looks like with someone sitting on it. So I'm 5'10 and this is where I'm sitting when I'm on the bike naturally. So as you can see, Legs have got a nice bend in them, my feet flat on the floor very comfortably. I'm not massively overstretched on tiptoes or anything. When I put my feet on the boards, as you can see, I've got plenty of space. I'm not massively tucked up on the tank, nor am I stretching way far out. In conjunction with the bars, this makes for a really, really comfortable seating position. Personally, I'm a big fan of the Fat Boy. I had one of these as a service loan while my bike was having some work done, and oh my god was it good fun. I would definitely recommend asking your local dealer to take one of these out for a spin if you haven't tried it yet. Alright, let's spin around so you can see the other side. As you can see on the left hand side of the bike, you've got the matching satin stainless finish primary, which is again unique to the Fat Boy and it really suits the look of this bike. Another big feature of the Fat Boy is the external preload adjustment. That means if you want to adjust your suspension without having to take your seat off, you can do that externally, whether that's to account for the additional weight provided by a passenger or all of your gear getting put on there. You don't have to be taking your seat off and messing around with spanners. It's really nice and easy. And at the rear of the bike, because of the fact that the exhausts are on the other side, you can really see that 240 solid disc wheel exposed. All right, that's our video. So if you enjoyed seeing this walkthrough talk through the 2020 Softail Fat Boy, please like, subscribe, share, all of that good stuff, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Run. Whose idea was it to put the showroom on the top of a hill? <laughs>